Chelsea, welcome to the show. I hope you've got your work gloves handy for this one. I'm over at my friend Sheena's house, and like me, she's a blogger and always has a lot of projects going on. But today's project is pretty ambitious, so I'm here to help her out. And you gotta love a woman who knows what she wants. I wanna build a new mantle, and as much as I love this <laughs> shelf, I'm gonna get rid of that. Yes, okay. it's just not my style. Um, it's too curvy, so I just okay. want to lose it completely, and then I want to build a full mantle with two columns down the side, Okay. Um, about up to this height. So I pulled this picture off of Pinterest. Okay. Shaker it's sort style. of the style that I want. Yep. Okay. Well, it looks like a lot of work, but I think we can handle it. Let me throw a sketch together, and then we can get started. Sheena and I settled on this shaker style that will complement her decor and simplify the build. Since this is a larger project, we're going to tackle it in three steps. First, let's remove the old mantle. It's not as heavy as I think it'd be. And look, I guess that's what it was mounted to. We can use that for our mantle that we put up. Great, we think. We'll measure everything and then we can start priming the wood. We're using tinted primer, so we'll only need one top coat. After the primer dries, we're ready to start cutting parts. We're going to use a pencil, tape measure, speed square, and a circular saw. All right, let's lay this out and we can put it together. The next step is assembly. We're putting together the legs first, then we'll tackle the breastplate and mantle. For this step, we'll need a hammer, nails, speed square, measuring tape, and wood glue. Put this one up here. And then you can get you know, that little block that you have right there. Mm -hmm. On this, we can put that in right there and you kind of mm -hmm. kind of get an idea of what it'll look like. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Looks great. Laying everything out this way will help assure we are assembling the parts correctly. Nailing from the back when possible will reduce the number of nail heads we'll have to put in later. To build these legs, you'll need two 1x2s, one 1x6, three 1x4s, and quarter inch plywood. Okay. Okay. Oof. Let's do it again. Now we move back outside to tackle the breastplate. It's made from one 1x2, one 1x4, and the same quarter inch plywood as before. All right, so we need to make our breastplate and then okay. this, that goes in the center, and then we'll attach that to the legs mm -hmm. before we put it up and mount it to the wall. Okay. So I'll just measure these, and we'll get these cut. We'll use a tape measure, pencil, speed square, circular saw, and a level for our straight edge. I'll mark seven here, seven down here, and then we'll put the level down to get a straight line, and we'll cut it up. Did I measure it from the same side? This mark in here, right? Yeah. Okay, let her rip. You used a circular saw before, right? Uh, I haven't actually. Well, today's your lucky day then. <laughs> we'll just cut one of these. If you want to pick that up, don't push the button. Okay. Oh, I'm doing this. Of course. Seems like the perfect time to dive right in. All right, so we'll lay the shoe flat on the board. Okay. And then we're gonna line the blade up on our mark. Okay. But you want it to be on that side. So hug it. Yeah. Okay. All right, so leave it there. Don't push it yet. I'm gonna butt this up against it. Mm -hmm. So back the saw up, push the button, and then push up against oh, the speed square it. as you go straight. Cool. Got it. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. All right, perfect. Now that Sheena has the hang of the circular saw and under close supervision of Sebastian, we finished cutting the parts for the breastplate. Now let's put them together. We're gonna use the hammer, nails, wood glue, and our speed square. So if glue comes out like that, you just wipe it with your finger I and do. that's okay? Okay. Yeah. We're gonna be putting caulk in those joints anyway, so. Oh, so it really doesn't matter. Yeah. Then. Uh, nope, perfect right there. Good. All right, okay, now we're ready for the next step. Now that it's assembled, we can attach the breastplate to the legs. Okay, all right, now it's your turn. Oh, okay, you want to do the do top the, first? Do the bottom. Okay. No, sure. yeah. 
Now you're just showing off. <laughs> <laughs> that one went a lot easier for you. Um, than so did there's for me. a space right here. Is that the okay? nail should the nail closes. Close should close it up. Okay. All right, you guys stand back over there, and I'll put it up, and you can see what it looks like. Awesome. Is that what you envisioned? Mm-hmm. It's coming together. Mm-hmm. All right, now we can mount it. After a successful test fit, we add the 2x6 nailers to the face of the fireplace. Then we can finish the bottom by adding the sides to the legs. All right, you ready to put it up there? Yeah. We can nail it in place. I think your husband's going to be impressed with your carpentry skills. <laughs> Very impressed. Is he going to believe Maybe that you he'll let me use his tools. Ah. We have video proof that you, you yeah. can handle it. All right. Time for the mantle. It's made of two 1x8s and one 1x2. To attach it, we'll need a tape measure, hammer, nails, and our wood glue. All right, that's three inches. Scoot it to the right a tad. That's good. Does that line up? That's perfect on my side. Okay, good. After nailing the top piece of the mantle, we attach this band along the edge to make it look like one piece. We made miter cuts at the corners for a nice finished look. Now we cut our trim for the bottom. We'll be painting it in no time. Finally, we start the finishing details. We're going to use a hammer, a nail set, caulk, putty, and sandpaper. We'll start with sanding the entire surface. I would have never known to do this. A little extra time here assures the paint will stick and the finished product will look awesome. We're going to set all the nail heads below the surface using a hammer and nail set. Then caulk all the joints and putty all the nail holes. Wiping the caulk with a damp sponge will make it smooth and minimize the cleanup. What I love about building something myself is making it exactly the way I want it. Just like this. Tishy, now I love your idea of hiding the cords in this. Now we just have to execute it. Okay. I think, you know, we have, we left the hole here, mm -hmm. so we just need a place for the cords to come out on the bottom. Okay. So we can use this hole saw that's attached to the drill. We're using an inch and a half hole saw, so there's plenty of room for wires to pass through. Sheena doesn't like the look of those TV wires, and running them behind the bricks is too hard. There you go, perfect. We're adding a strip of Velcro to make sure the panel stays in place. Hiding the cables behind the mantle is an easy solution that's going to work great. Like a glove. Okay, what do you think? Does it look like the picture you imagined? It looks so good. It looks the same and it looks different. It looks like our own custom rendition of that it's picture. Definitely customized. Mm -hmm. Well, all we have to do is the last step, get it painted. The paint we're using has zero VOC, so it's okay to use while the kids are around. Sheena, I'm impressed. You've used this tray for a lot of paint projects. Yeah, it's a little art project in itself. You can keep your memories of your paint projects. <laughs> I love this color. Hopefully it looks good on your mantle. If not, <laughs> you can repaint it. <laughs> the great thing about paint. You want to cut in around the bricks? Or I guess we, you do that half and I can do this half? Or what? Uh, sure. Okay. Painting large flat surfaces, I like to end with long brush strokes for a smooth finish. Our mantle project turned out great, and while it's larger than something I typically do, you can see that it's a manageable project with a little help and a little patience. Okay, Sheena, I never would have thought to put a mantle on a brick fireplace like that, but it turned out really good. I love it. It looks really good. It looks like it was built, like it, it's been here since the house was built. Nice clean lines and looks really good. Then I think we did a good job. Mm -hmm. I have so many ideas for upcoming projects. Follow along on Facebook so you don't miss out.